all right guys what's going on we're back more zombies more controversial opinions on the zach the baptist channel of course pissing everyone off since i started making zombie shorts uh today we're going to be revisiting black ops 2 zombies uh one of my favorite zombies games ever made so there's the controversial opinion i love all the maps i love all of them i love transit i love die rise i love buried buried's my favorite map of all time so this is a game i also haven't played in quite a while i played it more recently than i had black ops 1 though so we're gonna revisit the maps we're gonna replay them we're gonna do some of the the stuff in the maps get a taste for them and then we are going to talk about our opinion on the map as we play through so that is like the overarching goal of this series i will explain what we're doing on each map as we get to the map so moving on leave a like if you do enjoy the video it helps out a ton it actually allows me to grow the channel and allows me to consistently put support into the youtube you might have noticed a couple of weeks where i couldn't upload i just couldn't justify it when college work was so high if there's a bit more support in the channel i can justify working on the videos a bit more efficiently and a bit quicker to get them out weekly uh if you enjoy also subscribe leave a comment if you disagree leave a comment i'd rather you leave a comment than dislike of course i would because you know boost the algorithm and all that but uh if you don't agree leave a dislike let me know uh i'll know i'll have to change something up and yeah let's just get straight into the maps starting with transit so we are not going to be doing the survival maps we are just going to be doing the big maps uh we will do nuketown zombies though because that's a completely different uh, map so our goal with transit is to just get the pack a punch because the pack a punch in this map is quite the ordeal so that is the plan is to get the pack a punch without fucking dying because you know as people will tell you it's 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 a bit of an ordeal to get the pack a punch in this map we're probably gonna have to do two rotations on the bus you can already tell I kind of know what's going on on this game because I know where all the parts are. So yeah, uh, I'm actually a transit enjoyer. Um, I I love transit when I was younger. I didn't really watch any zombies YouTubers or anything like that when transit came out. So I didn't know it was hated. <laughs> Which is, you know, it's an experience. We might go for a fully upgraded bus as well, actually. Or at least the two upgrades because uh the one in the diner i might want to get the galvan knuckles i don't know if we'll be playing long enough because i am setting the hard round limit at 10 again uh if we don't complete the goal by round 10 we have to keep going of course but i feel like we will i've recently played the uh bus depot survival um your man uploaded to the the black ops community hub on uh black ops tree and that was pretty good jack on piece over there i believe or like around here somewhere i've only ever built the jet gun once actually we might knife this guy before we go back around we're probably not even gonna get a hitbox is this guy so fucking far into the storm here i am battle royale coded guy's so far into the storm the so one thing that would improve transit all right i'll come back for that later when we have more time the one thing that would improve transit dramatically would be if you controlled on the bus left fuck i missed that would just make all the fucking difference oh i'm dead that was just dumb placement i'm still not you see i'm getting used to all these old zombies games again Bruh. i don't remember the fucking box being as bad in the black ops 2 but wow they're two woeful fucking weapon rolls to get like, nothing can be worse than the Black Ops 1 box, because at least Black Ops 2 has some good guns in it, but wow, it was not a good introduction to the game. I can't imagine a gun being fucking, like, a two-shot headshot on round three. I honestly might just use this place to, like, farm up some points. I don't even think we'll open it until the second route around, because the points are crucial. I need enough points for Jug, because I don't have Quick Revive, and I need enough points to open up power. Transit was such a cool concept. Like, look at this. You're on a little bus. You're driving around. How much fun this is. But then people had to be haters. 
Like, yeah, there's some not great. If you could just, like, you know, pay 25 points to start the bus or something, that'd be cool. You like paying the bus fare. Oh my god, I didn't even think about that. That's a cool little game design, you know. I can't believe one of these days requires you to turn off the power. How stupid is that? Alright, I'm gonna replace the SMR with the AK-74U now that we have the points for it. The tragic thing is, Rick Toppin's right. Maxis does kill us all. But it's the only way for me to safely get points without wasting all my fucking ammo. Alright, now the question is, do we wait for the bus or do we just keep moving? That could be the bus. You know what, we'll wait for the bus. Give me a chance to talk about the map. Uh, as Yeah, as I said, I love transit. Um, the town remake on the Black Ops 3 Workshop is probably one of the nicest looking maps I've ever seen. So coming back to this is, uh, it's just, it's a bit less colorful. So I suppose that's a bit of an effect, but you know. I actually think, you know, this game, this map, this zombies map, is one of the coolest concepts for a zombies map. I don't even think it was executed that poorly, to be completely honest. Now, I could see how it would be frustrating if it was your, if it was your only map for, like, years. But as that isn't the case with me, you know, I kind of like it. Because I can choose to come back and play this, you know, once every couple of years, every couple of months. And I'll have a really good experience with it. I know the Easter egg's a lot of bollocks, though. Uh, there's some stuff that I don't think we can necessarily blame on the map, though. Like, the lava, yeah, it's annoying. The denizens, yeah, it's annoying. But it was needed at the time. I'm sure it wouldn't be needed now. We have much more complex open world games. Look up. Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, that map's much bigger. But at the time, it was needed. Now, of course, Modern Warfare 3 Zombies has its own issues. Okay, so that's clearly a trigger box or something, because if that doesn't break when the bus goes over, it must be a trigger box on the player. I think the biggest issue with this map is the weapon slash ammo balancing. Like, each area needs a bit more content to it, in my humble opinion. Trap that side, yeah. No, wait, where are you going? The hell? Where's he gone? No! He bamboozled me. It's weird hearing the zo same zombie sound effect from like Shadows of Evil in this version of zombies. I know they're probably the same the entire way through, but I just, I always thought the Shadows of Evil, like Black Ops Tree Zombies, got new sounds for some reason. I don't, I don't particularly know why I thought that, but I did. All right, that should be it set up now. I just wanted to make sure he was following me and not attacking that. We should be good now. Don't worry, your time has nearly come. Like, uh, like on a jag or something. Long before time had a name. This zombie was on the bus for transit. I'll tell you though, the transit does take longer to do the most basic of stuff, like, because this recording's already 30 minutes long and we're only on round 6. Now to be fair, I did mess up in the power station, it probably would have been quicker if I'd have just got back onto the bus, but I missed, so. I, uh, fumbled, so to speak. Gonna take out the money for a pack of punch so that we don't have to risk it, you know, closing. Now, I don't exactly remember where the pack of punch parts are, that's the only thing. Okay, we're finally out of that fucking corner. That was kind of scary. Light did flash before my eyes. Oh, fuck. I didn't want to get... Wait, hang on. That nuke actually might... That nuke might have been perfect timing. Right. And then... Yeah, that's pretty much us done with transit. We're just gonna... Go to round 10. I'm gonna get some points. I'm gonna put them back in the bank. But yeah, that was Pack-a-Punch. It's not as hard as people say. You just kind of need to plan it out a little bit more than you would, like, a typical Pack-a-Punch, which, you know, isn't that big of a deal. You just plan ahead. You're probably not going to get it done on your first trip. You just plan to have a second trip. You'd be going around the map anyway, so I don't really understand why people complain about the Pack-a-Punch process on this game. It's not that hard of a thing to do. It's it's nice that I finally understand how the Avogadro spawns in, though. Originally, I just thought he was random. He'd spawn in whenever, but... 
That is not the case. The fucking bus is on its way. Are you serious? We're not leaving. We're just going to stay here. Oh, that was... It is nice to have a pack punch gun as well. Oh, I forgot. I said the AK-74U. See how yeah, that's doing. That's still killing. Yeah, that's the thing about Black Ops 2. Look at that. I'm actually killing the zombies as well compared to Black Ops 1. I don't think people like the Black Ops 1 video because it got a dislike almost immediately and it's click through is fucking dreadful so i don't think it was a hit but i'm still glad i did it it allows me to continue with this series and then the final part of this series is actually very close it's uh black ops 3 which is the next game so yeah that's we're coming to the end of this series, and then I'm gonna have to come up with something new. Uh, I'm thinking about bringing back the short form content as well, so I'll probably come back. Uh, I've booked a week off. I think I said this in a post, but I've booked a week off, so I'll be able to get some recording done. A week off work, and it's during my college holidays. Now, of course, I'll still have college projects to work on, but, you know, unlike my good friend Lee, I'm a... Uh, Able to basically do it all last minute and get good grades, whereas Lee puts his entire life savings and work into, you know, doing college 17 months before it's due. Yeah, transit, once you get set up, it's just any other zombies map. You run in circles and you shoot zombies. It's... I don't know. I mean, I suppose people might not like having to do a bit extra on the setup, but... You know, the era of zombies I kind of joined in was this era, where you had to do a bit more for your setup, you know? The origins, the transit, the, all your die rises and stuff. So I guess it kind of makes sense. Is that round 9 or is that round 10? Is that it? Oh, that's it. Oh, we're finished. Right. Uh, I didn't even notice. I was having so much fun. Uh, we just put double our money back into the bank, 10k. Um, yeah, no, good map. I don't really care what anyone says. Transit, it's a fun time. It's not that big of a deal. Pack-a-punch isn't that annoying, no matter what the fucking big YouTubers tell you. to d tell you. It, it's, go back and play the map for yourself. It's honestly not that bad. I don't know, maybe I'm just the odd one out, though, because everyone likes Black Ops 1, I don't. I, I say, go back and play them maps, and you'll see they're not as good as you remember. Especially when there's better versions of the majority of the maps already made on a newer game And you know, I'm not one for graphic schmatics, you know, whatever. I don't care if a game looks like shit I, I, I like World at War. One of my favorite games of all time is Fallout New Vegas Not exactly a fucking stunner But it's a fun fucking game So, you know, I'm more about the mechanics and I did not really enjoy The Black Ops 1 gameplay. I thought it was just World at War, but on worse versions of the World at War formula maps. Whereas Black Ops 2, this is a game where you can already, on the first map, you can see massive innovation. We've got the bank, we've got the bus, we've got bigger maps, we've got buildables, we've got stuff to do aside from just killing zombies. And if you want to just kill zombies, they have that too. What is not to like? Transit, massively overhated, and that is my final word on the topic. Okay, and we're actually going to do Nuketown. I don't know if I already said I was doing Nuketown or not. So I don't actually know if this was what was meant to come next chronologically. It's been a couple of days since I recorded the transit part. Um, I released the Black Ops 1 video and that went over how it went over. So I had to implement some changes. Um, I had to. I have also re recorded a ranking video, but I didn't want to put two Black Ops 1 videos out at once to make it look like, you know, I was milking Black Ops, my Black Ops 1 hatred because I, I still don't like it very much. But yeah, uh, so that's why there's been a couple of days, a couple of changes, and now we are on to continuing this video. It should be out on the day I'm recording this. It might not, though, because I still have all the maps to record. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, I did decide to do Nuketown kind of... On a whim, you know, I I wasn't going to, and then I decided to. There's the Vecna clock. I don't know. Reminds me of Alpha Omega, obviously. Um, that's the closest thing to this that I've played, though. I haven't played this in years. 
Uh, I don't really have a goal for this. This is kind of just a survival map. Um, round 15, I'm gonna say. But there's not, like, any extra stuff to get or, like, do on this map. This map's very, you know, very its own kind of thing. Uh, we've nowhere we really need to be at the minute either. Uh, we'll go into the yellow house just because the box is back there. And the box is always good to get. Uh, there's the population 94. Uh, I don't think so, buddy. Nuketown is one of them maps. It's very similar to town, you know. It's for the, the people that like the basic kind of maps. Nuketown kind of reminds me of a Black Ops 1 map. Probably a little bit better, but it's a tad more gimmicky as well at the same time. So it all depends on if you like the map's gimmicks. If you like your, you know, simple maps with not that much to do, I feel like you'd like Nuketown. Okay, it's just not letting me pick that up. Thank you. That's a good start. I've missed my first two headshots. Oh, fuck. I tried to avoid that. Can I open straight through? No. All right, we'll be in there next round. I've got my can of monster next to me. Prepared for the long recording session. Oh, there ain't no way. Oh, I thought I just went down there. All right, let's open up the back garden. Uh, so the gimmick with this map is, of course, the perks coming down late. And you know what? I don't really mind the perks being delayed. I think it's, you know, it's a fun enough gimmick. Like, I would prefer them just being, you know, if you got Jug second or whatever. But, you know, I think I can last a good couple of rounds. Oh, it's a Pack-a-Punch. See? Like, look at that. That is the fun of Nuketown Zombies. You know, you could get Quick Revive and the Pack-a-Punch. And that's all you get. For, like, a little bit. So it's like, what do we even bother pack a punching, you know? Jesus Christ, my accuracy is all over the place. I think it is a bit easier on solo than it is. I think on multiplayer, it is strictly every, like, five rounds. Whereas on solo, you get one on round three. You get one on round one. I think you can get them on a bunch of different rounds. I'm not sure if it's, like, timed or not. Or if it's, like, round-based. I'm pretty sure it's round-based, though. If this was Black Ops 1, I would have lost my shit, but we're fine. Come on. Oh, the Cheekum. I love the Cheekum, right? Not because it's good, I know, it, it's garbage. But this weapon will get you points, man. I don't like this house, though. I prefer the other house. Like, oh yeah, like, this gun's horrible. Look at that, not even a one burst. But you will get points with this gun. I do have to remember, we are at a two hit down at the minute. We are on the older classic games, which is the two hit down uh i shouldn't uh, i should probably not grab that max ammo straight away did panic a wee bit oh we might be in trouble here yeah that was just bad spacing by me see, i see i much prefer the other house i think i'm gonna save up some points and get us over to the other house all right let's rebuy quick revive oh hello I wasn't expecting people to be out here i thought i got them all oh that guy is last zombie Hitboxes can be a bit weird for like buying stuff. I'm not gonna be too fussed if I don't make it around 15 on this This is like literally just the definition of a bonus map. It was a bonus map on disc And it's a bonus map in this video like there is no Goal with this map. It's just Play the game until I die Or reach round 15. There we go. We're in the more open of the gardens Oh, what the hell? I was not expecting creatures. Oh, there ain't no way. Give me that double points right now. No! No, the fucking... The melee whiffed. The melee whiffed. Oh my god, that's so embarrassing. Alright, it's whatever. Again, as I said, you know... I don't know. I haven't played zombies in a few days now, so I'm a bit rusty as well, to be completely honest. Not that I'm trying to excuse it, as you've seen from... The Black Ops 1 video. I'm not the best at this classic kind of play. We're going to re-pick up Quick Revive. And I think we're going to hit the box as well. I think I need a better gun. Ah, there we go. I can actually fucking see now. Bruh, please give me an actual gun. This is nearly as bad as the Black Ops 1 box. You know what I'm saying? Finally, a fucking gun. Is this still a one-shot? No, it's not even. That's actually fucking tragic. The transit bus... Hello. You no, know, we'll roll the box again and see if we can get a better thing than the ballistic knives. Because, you know, there's no other perks to spend it on. 
Oh, there we go. We got exactly what I was looking for, the M27. Only available on this map. I don't even think it's that great. I just, I think it's a nice gimmick. It looks good, it sounds good. And I'm glad, you know, the RPD, great gun. It is the RPD, yeah. The RPD, great gun, if you have speed cola. Like, without speed cola, it's whatever. Oh, I'm so fucking sketchy without Jug, man. Oh, it's over. I fucking walk myself into a fucking corner. No, I'm actually built different. This gun actually just feels really nice to fucking play with. Holy shit. This is just a good fucking gun. I think it's what? Two, three shot to the head. I will open this up. I thought there was one of the teddy bears up there for the music easter egg, I guess. No. I thought I remembered where they all were. I thought they were upstairs in both houses. There's Marilton. He's in there, a little... I like, there's lots of nice little easter eggs in this map as well, like little small ones. Oh, it's over. Okay, we will go see what that was at the start, at the end of this round. I'm gonna assume, nope, the round has not ended. Seems like they are still spawning in. Oh, no, max ammo. Okay, good. And if the perk's bad, I might just pack a punch this round. I like zombies maps with unique weapons, like Zetsubo has a couple of unique weapons as well, which is... You know, a cool thing to Zets about. Oh, hello. Oh, I wasn't expecting you to hit me there. And then watch the fucking points right in. Oh, shit. Fuck, did you see that? That was fucking cool. Holy shit. I was on my, my fucking ass was clenched there. I am not gonna lie. In other news, I was like recently blocked on Twitter by a fucking big zombies YouTuber that I have not interacted with in like years. I haven't even like, you know, I have no idea what I did. Um, maybe it has something to do with the Black Ops 1 take, but I doubt it. That'd be kind of embarrassing for them. But I have no idea what I've done. Uh, I don't interact with them. I have like 100 followers on Twitter. So... I, I don't even know how they knew I existed, but apparently they did, and they didn't like what they saw because I am now blocked. Kaboom. Holy shit, I just got like three power-ups from that. So yeah, that's some other fun, interesting news. Okay, me and my little 220 subscribers were flying though. 220, that, it took me years to get to 100, and now we're already at 220. Look at that. You know, I just have to decide what videos I kind of enjoyed making, which were the zombies ones. Uh, I don't care if, you know, it kind of pisses people off when I dislike Black Ops 1. Uh, I'm still going to make the videos. The videos are fun to make. Hopefully some people enjoy watching them. <gasps> oh, that's so embarrassing. I was trying to get the Easter egg song thing and I fucking... Oh my god, that is so embarrassing. That's actually hilarious as well, though. Where'd that guy go? Fuck you. Oh my goodness, bro, it's giving me everything but Jug. Jug is actually the last thing I'm getting. That's so funny. Right, so we are down to our last down. I, you know what, I, I'm not gonna, you know, say anything. I think I was playing a bit better there, but then I fucking made... You see, the Black Ops 2, you know, I'm used to Black Ops 3, where you instantly, like, if you interact with something, it's interacted with straight away. Whereas with Black Ops 2, there seems to be, like, you need to hold the button for it to interact. And I'm still just not used to that. It was the same with Black Ops 1. Like, whenever I went up to something to interact with it, it just did not interact some of the time. And it was quite confusing, to be honest. But there it is. Yeah, I knew it was Samantha's lullaby. Like, I didn't want to say it, though, in case I look like a fucking idiot. But hopefully the next video I make on Black Ops 1 is the last video I have to make on Black Ops 1 in a while until I go back to like do the easter eggs or something But I think I need friends to do the easter eggs with like I see people do solo easter eggs, but I don't know how they do it So, you know I still have a lot to learn. Oh, we are so fucked Not built different. No, I'm gonna give you know I didn't think we'd make it without joke to be honest, which is embarrassing. Also, it's stats are embarrassing, but Look, what are you gonna do? It's all for fun after all Oh, I messed up. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah. Well, that was still fun. You know, I had a good time. Even with Jug there, I was dead. Um, yeah, okay. Now we can go on to Die Rise. All right, so here we are on Die Rise, a map I do not like. I, I don't like Die Rise, to be completely and brutally honest. 
die rise is a big fucking no from me but that's as far as i can remember and as i stated at the start i haven't played this for so yeah I, you know i haven't played it in a while but we do have a bit of a goal our goal is to build a slick over her which is going to be very easy because i'm actually just going to use the bank you know why would i not use the bank you know it's in the game do i have a weapon wait do i have a weapon there ain't no way. No, we'll keep that in there, though. We'll save that for another bit. Uh, we'll take a bit of cash out, 10k. And we will just, you know, explore the map in a fun way this time. Because... Oh, no, joke, please. You know, I just... I don't like the setup on this map. I don't think the setup's very good. I think the setup's probably the worst part. So, where's the... Joke gone. Am I in the wrong area? Is Joke over here? So we are just gonna build this liquefier. No, Joke should have been here, but it wasn't. Dying. Uh, there's only one zombie left. I can't remember where the parts for this liquefier are, though. That's the only thing. This map's actually really big when you look, when you come back to it. Like, this map is quite fucking big, actually. So why did I decide to use the bank? I hear you all not ask. Um, as I was kind of saying, I just, I don't really like this map. Yeah, it is. Um, if, you know, Black Ops 1 had the bank, I actually think I'd enjoy them it a bit more because, you know, the bad part, the setup part, the bad luck, it can, it's all kind of negated by the the bank you know i can now just get straight to the fun stuff i can get weapons i can get set up and then i can just you know train and you know get a high round get the trample theme there's some fun box weapons as well i can experience all that so much faster with the bank um i don't think the bank is scummy because it's in the game and i did i use the bank on transit actually did i already give this spiel on transit i might have I can't quite remember if I used it on transit or not. Like, I'll see when I go back, and maybe I'll add a note. I probably won't, because I'll probably forget. Hey, something doesn't even speed it up that much. I'm already five minutes in here. Prior to in here? Oh, that door's kind of fucking pointless, isn't it? I remember back when I used to play this map as a kid. There would be a frantic rush to get the fire parts in the basement down here everyone would rush straight to it at the start of each game oh, at the start of each game which it's just you know on memories i guess now of course you know i'm able to you know separate my memories from objective like fact and stuff like that and look at it and be like map sh still shit i know uh, a certain big youtuber is making well is part of a remake i'm not gonna say making as I can see from the videos, uh, he's not actually making anything. He's just supporting it. So, uh, I'm excited to try that out. It's also such a cool concept, you know, a map that has kind of like, it's flipped, it's on its head. Typically, you're used to going like, you know, maps expand lengthways. This way they like expand, I guess, like heightways, which is, is is really nice. Horizontal and vertical and all that shit. It's 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 a flip on the head, literally. Because uh you're in two buildings. Two big skyscrapers. Is this is the first time in one of these videos that I've gotten the map's wonder weapon. I think it is. It won't be the last though. The elevator key would be such a cool, like, special item. That you could just have on you constantly on this map. I think that would like also make a massive difference to the game. That's 10 minutes it's taken me to build that. That's embarrassing. But like, can we get back across to the other side? All right, because I want to try get the slick uh, the trample steam. So we can get the free perk. That's another thing I want to do on this map. Oh, just quick arrive. I will take that. Bro, this map is actually fucking confu- Wait. Oh my god, I didn't have to wait. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. That's hilarious. And that's the spawn. Alright, this is a trample steam part. That's a trample steam part. Oh, I need to fucking plummet to my death there. Alright, we have two player parts right there anyway, though. 
Holy shit, just building all this shit is taking fucking 14 minutes. We are on round two. I suppose I could be like killing zombies as I go. I literally have the map's wonder weapon. Oh my god, my fucking ass clenches every time. Oh my god, wait, what the hell? Come on, guys, take it easy. No, the fucking zombies pushed me to my death. Are you serious? That's actually kind of funny, though. That's funny that they did that. To be fair, I'm not even mad. I actually think that's quite funny. Especially because, you know, with the fucking trample steam, we're going to be able to just literally jump back over and get jugged again. I do love the LPDW, though. This was my favorite gun in multiplayer when this game came out. Well, not even when it came out. I didn't play it when it came out, but when I got around to playing it, this was my favorite gun and there has not been a gun except for maybe the mp7 in fuck an advanced warfare that has topped it i fucking whiffed that shot so fucking bad man like even when die rise is going well die rise is not a good map like it's fun i'm having a fairly decent time but would i rather play any other black ops 2 map probably i actually think the over hatred of Transit has done Die Rise a massive favor because Transit, in my humble opinion, as we know, my opinion's not the same as everyone else's, but Die Rise, in my opinion, has made Transit more hated and has kind of gotten away with being a worse map because of the hatred for Transit, which is why I'm so excited for the remake. You know, because I think the map needs another chance. To be actually given a fucking proper fucking shout. This is the first and only map, which is why I think it's the best of the classic zombies. You know, uh, Black Ops 1, World at War, and all that. I think it's the best of them because of... Because the overall map selection is the best out of all the games. Um, when you compare it to something like World at War, you know, World at War maps are all okay. But there's no like excellent standout ones you look at are you serious man please just let me get fucking juggernaut you look at the maps like um in black ops one and as i you know said last week i just don't like them they're not very good i don't think any of them are very good but you look at the maps in this and you have some excellent fucking maps you have some stinkers like you know I know people don't like transit. I don't mind transit, but people don't like it. And you have this, which, you know, isn't great. And that is something I definitely think. And then you have, but then you have like absolute masterpieces like Mob the Dead, Origins, Buried. Buried being my favorite map of all time. Liquifier is great though. Even though I have not used it properly. Watch, we'll use it once, um, I'm done here, on this round. Oh no wait, actually there's still a good few. We'll get a train going on, I'll use it. Actually there's not a good few, there's tree, but this should wipe them all out. Where are all these fucking zombies coming from, man? What the hell, I thought I was finished around, where? Where are you guys coming from? I'm dead, man. I'm fucking dead. Oh my god, I survived. I'm just not playing very well. Like, I walked myself into that corner. I'm not under any illusion that that was anyone's fault other than my own. And, you know, I can't really fault the map or bad design. Like, there's some baffling decisions, like not making the key a, like, held item. But to be fair, I don't think held items were really a thing when this came out. Which is another fact. You know, there was no such thing as, like, a held item. Held items didn't come until like Black Ops 3, was it? And now we just need to get ready to make them land on Trample Steam. And we'll get two perks for the price of one. Actually, if we can snag this as well, we can pretty much guarantee a perk we don't have. So that means we'll probably get who's who, which sucks, but it's whatever. You guys are little, doing little spawn glitches. Oh, look at that. Oh, I got a, an achievement for flinging 10 zombies in one game. That's pretty cool. I like when I get achievements, especially ones I'm not expecting. 
we will not be taking advantage of that final one. Oh, the elevator is fucking closed though. What the hell? Oh, the Galvan. Oh, no, Semtex. Oof. No, I don't want them. Yeah, from Black Ops 3 and 4, we enter a new era. And then post Black Ops 4, we also enter a new era of zombies. So. And then, of course, we have the non Triarchs. Uh, two of which are actually pretty good, and then one of which is um, Advanced Warfare. It is kind of fun to just. Oh, I forgot an insta kill. I was like, whoa, holy shit. This gun's doing really good now. It was an insta kill. There's also, a, in this map in particular for Black Ops 2, there is a lot of just dead space. Space you just outright don't use. Like, just the entire floor in the disc you don't use. There is. That entire tower, pretty much, except for like the Buddha room. That's even still what it's called. I don't, I don't know. Like Diarize is a map. One of, you know, a lot of maps don't utilize their full space, but Diarize I think is one of the worst for it. For that, you know, just not using up its entire space. You walk around the same two areas, the roof and the room, and that's it. And this map is large when it comes to total like surface area you know and, and as i've said earlier in the video it, it, it's a really cool concept it's just one that i don't think they executed very well and i know i'm not the first person to say that i think this is actually something that will be agreed upon if this one does as well as the last in terms of views it'll probably be looked upon a little bit better i don't think people will like the um a lack of transit hate. I'm uh, sure there's some baffling design decisions in transit as well, but I also think, you know, transit is overly hated because of big YouTubers. Like, I didn't watch YouTube as a kid, and I enjoyed it then, and my perception hasn't really changed on it. Yeah, the pack punch is a bit annoying, but it's fine. Whereas, you know, I watched YouTubers. And they said Die Rise is better just because Transit exists. And I, I'm like, I disagree. I'd play Transit over Die Rise. It is basically what I'm trying to say. Um, we're on to our final round here. 32 minutes into the recording, which is like double the length of some of the other ones, which is, is baffling. But I do want to get this done today and hopefully out the door today. Because uh, it has been two weeks since the Black Ops 1 video. <laughs> um... I, you know, I because I spent the last week recording and doing my Black Ops 1 map ranking, but then I thought people would, you know, accuse me of just, you know, catching in on the Black Ops 1 hatred, which is not necessarily what I... Oh, I'm so dead. Oh, I clutched. Uh, and by clutched, I meant I spammed my weapon until they all died. Um, You know, that's not really the case, you know. As I stated in that previous video my videos only get about 100 views you know and i'm which is much better than it was so trust me i'm not fucking mad about that or anything but i wasn't expecting it to blow up to a 1000 view video and i wasn't expecting the opinion to be that polarizing so i really wasn't trying to catch it on and hopefully you know this just proves it by me waiting the extra week to get that video ready to go so yeah anyway that was Die Rise, uh, my least favorite map on this game. And we will move on to Mob. Okay, so here we are on Mob of the Dead. The second or third best map on this game, depending on who you ask. Uh, you know, me personally, Barry takes the cake. You know, uh, you know how it is. I can't tell if he is there or not we should check now but uh yeah so here we are mob of the dead we've got a couple of goals fuck is going on? that i'd like to reach this game Am I the only one first here? one is well, fuck pack I'm punch of course now. the plane number two is health retriever and number three is the blunder gut and acid gut plus we're gonna get the shield but that's not really like a new goal of sorts so that so that's the overarching like goal for this segment uh 
if we go over round 15 we go over round 15 because i'm actually i don't really have much of a clue how long this is gonna take it could take quite a while so that is the plan for the moment anyway mob of the dead what a map start feeding this dog straight away if, the, if it was the other if the key was on the other side we would have been able to get the dull points nice and early but i'm not gonna reset for that that's no big deal um now, why do we get the M14 or the B23R? That is another question, but we'll see how we are feeling. I'm going to take advantage of the round one zombies, and I am going to actually jump up here and turn on a bunch of the map. Well, not a bunch. But like two things but like that just erases the need to do it later and because we're gonna get the this uh afterlife back really easily now in terms of the gun we get i'm not really sure what would be the best option do we save up for the b2 trier or do we go for the cheaper we'll probably go for the cheaper m14 actually just so we can maximize them early game points because on a map like mob the dead where everything is so expensive they're kind of crucial. We are going to get the round three uh, dull points as well. We're going to take advantage of that. What is this, 1,000? Everything's so expensive in this fucking game, man. Like, this map has some fucking expensive-ass doors. That should be him done. I know, I know you are. We will buy... Not the Olympia. Definitely not the Olympia. Oh, this opens up both sides? Oh, hang on. We might be able to snag that double points after all and get a big load of points this round. Oh, hello. Because I didn't cop that open both doors. Oh, okay, maybe. But you see, you learn something new every day. I had fucking no idea. I have played this map a lot. You know, number one Vanguard supporter over here. Nah, guys, you know what I'm really for? Call of Duty Fortnite Zombies. It really is the future. Those who know, know. Imagine playing Mob the Dead Fortnite, guys. Fucking Fortnite prison zombies. So I remember where the shield, all the shield parts are. I do not remember where all the acid gap parts are, though. That's, that's something I have to probably look up. Isn't great. Actually, there's one around here. If I remember correctly. I have to use all three afterlives. Ooh. No, we'll it'll be worth. We will. We will we'll, we'll use all three. It'll be worth to get that double points. Big double points. If I die here, though, I am going to be so mad. This is actually my third time recording this segment because I've been playing so fucking god awful, fucking garbage ass player. I don't even know what's fucking wrong with me. I think I might be like sick, to be honest, because I am just not playing very well. I'm very dehydrated, even though I've been drinking water. Like I finished my monster and now I'm just drinking water. There we go. I'm actually so fucking surprised we got out of there. We lost that fucking bet. Now I know, look, I know we want to try to get as much maximum usage of the double points as possible, but I also need to prioritize my life here. We should still get enough to go down to the docks, is what I'm fucking hoping happens anyway, is that we can get to the docks from this dull point. The, what happened last time I was here, I got the fucking nuke as well. But I was knifing, so I ran into them, whereas this time... Well, now that there's a nuke on the table... Probably knife a little bit. Oh, yes. Double the double points. Careful, regen the hell. Now this is fucking beautiful. This was a massive double points. That was fucking huge. Alright, we are gonna head on down to the docks now. Shield parts. I know where all the shield parts are though, so... You know. Not that bad. And we will start feeding the dog. Hello. I did not know there was a second one alive. That zombie, if he didn't make that noise, absolutely would have got me. 
gotta say the dogs are so much better than the dragons out there and like, i know they're basically the same thing but just thematically i think i think it looks cooler um black ops 3 actually had a weird obsession i don't know why black ops 1's weird obsession was monkeys black ops uh fucking trees weird obsession i think was actually dragons that's about how the dragon egg guys and had the dragon heads and garage Crowley had the dragon dragon and the gauntlet which was also a mini baby dragon cool gauntlet oh cool uh specialist weapon i think that should be it you actually got a fair few points from that all right we'll do everything we can down here first and then we will move on so we're gonna turn on jug we will buy the tommy gun probably this round we'll buy jug the tommy gun this round and then we'll make our move back up towards the prison and we will also pick up the shield parts see this is the kind of map i i like where there's like you can plan for kind of multiple things you kind of have to have a strategy and a route planned you know I know you need a strategy for the old Black Ops 1 maps as well, but it's not as, you know, intense of a need, in my opinion, anyway. Well, we are in a very bad spot here, actually. Don't worry. That was not a great spot to be in. Uh, we'll grab this gun and then we'll make our moves next round back towards the prison. We had to. If we're doing, you know, the first. Mob of the Dead playthrough in years. We have to get this gun. Oh, well, I think I just got 400 points from the last zombie, but I would have rather not used a nuke there, but it's what. It, oh, no, you know what? It's actually probably for the best. All right. I remember what we have to do here as well. Uh, hit that one. Hit this one. And hit this one. And that powers that up. Up top, that's the electric door done. Oh, did I ever pick up the... No, I didn't even. I unlocked it, but I didn't pick it up. Maybe not mid-round, Zach. Oh, we're good. We're only on round five. That's the good thing, you know? That double points thing is actually so fucking good. Because we're on round five, we have... The dog done. Two dogs done. We are down at the docks. We have two parts done. You can get a third done down here. So, no, we have three parts done technically. I just have to pick up the third. And we can get the fourth done. Which just leaves the upstairs trap near the roof. The upstairs part near the roof, which is literally just run up and pick it up. Which is, you know, nice. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is really bad. No, we're good. The next room is one. Oh! buddy i think the next room is 1000 points and we can get another part in here pretty sure the shield right there it is yeah this looks like it should fit with i forgot i could spawn there to be completely honest all right we will get the rope as well while we're here oh so that's eight five three there is construction going on, uh, so if you can hear construction, I can't do anything about that. I think it's the neighbors. Oh, is it timed? Oh shit, I didn't realize it was fucking timed. Oh, it's 44 seconds, okay. It's a minute. So I kind of have to get it now. Or I fucking wanted to or not. Nah. Alright, let's go back out here and we can train up out here because I don't like it being in there. More afterlife back. We've got to get double tap. See, I... The, the, the thing about Blundell maps is it all kind of flows into itself, you know, you kind of do everything and everything kind of helps itself. You know, me doing the dogs helps me get the blunder guy, me getting the blunder guy helps me survive, me getting the blunder guy helps me get pack a punch, helps me deal with Brutus, me getting the parts helps me get the pack a punch, you know, it's all connected. Me help getting the parts, explores the map, gets me the shield, the shield helps me live. You know, it's all connected, whereas with the the black ops one and the jimmy maps i just i don't feel that connection i'm much more of a, a blondel design oh i'm dead oh my god zach please that's the second time i've actually died there in these recordings 
And now we are out of afterlife for this life, so that's not great, actually. We are in a kind of a bad spot right now. I was just talking about how fucking good I was. I wasn't saying that, but... We want to get the points back for Jug. I guess we will not be going back up this round. Oh wait, double points. We might be able to make it. Oh, I want that max ammo so bad. Go, go, go. Yeah. All right, yeah, we should be able to get up. It's a, it's a shame that we went down there, but uh, I think I was just, this is the issue with doing it again, the live com. Uh, I get distracted very easily, and because I was distracted talking there, I, you know, uh, which is why the where the the actual review of these maps, which uh, Black Ops One One is coming out next week, I think, um, is scripted, and I'm actually able to talk through my thoughts. Whereas the the videos, uh, the revisiting, is not a scripted review series. It's just I go back and I play the maps, and you get my thoughts. That's why I was a bit surprised when the Black Ops One One performed so, you know, poorly because you know it I, it wasn't a review that's not really what this series is designed for it's designed to go back and actually just play the maps live and you know if it goes bad it goes bad if it goes well it goes well but uh, that was the original uh design of this series the original intention so you know it didn't really wind up being like that but you know there is the actual scripted kind of not even reviews the rankings i'm calling them but I suppose you could say it's more like a review than this series. This series is not review-like in, in really any way. I'm just kind of giving my thoughts on maps that I'm as I'm playing them. Now, we are going to start making our way back up towards the top of the map. Like the upstairs area. But first things first, I want to build a shield. Get that bit of extra... Are you serious? I didn't open this fucking door? Oh, shit. Did I at least turn on this? Oh my goodness, I didn't. No, but you know which one I did turn on? The other one. Oh fuck, this is bad. I didn't think this true because I thought I had the cafeteria open, but that was a different... That was the last game I played, I opened the cafeteria. Oh shit. No, it's, we're actually okay, I got the cafeteria open there. Not one squadron of zombies. Now let's start looking for the acid get parts because... I'm not entirely sure. There's one. You're so right, Finn. So fucking right. One there. There's definitely one in here. What am I looking for? The green vial is in here, as far as I remember. Up here, yeah, there it is. I think these pieces are important. They don't fucking I don't remember where the last piece is. Alright, we are on to the final dog now, which is, you know, we're making progress at least. I wanted to get as many points as I could with that double point. Oh, it's over. Oh wait, I have the zombie shield, I have the zombie shield, what am I doing? Don't panic. We actually have the shield, we're good. I have the shield, I have the shield, don't panic. No, we panicked. No, I didn't even panic. I held on as long as I could, but they actually just got the better of me. Alright, we're fine. We'll open up to the roof where it's actually safe to, like, you know, train. And then we have to go back down, all the way down. And rebuy the fucking jug again. I don't know why, I thought I went up through the cafeteria, did I not? Alright! Cause I'd like to pick up, cause we're going down that way and it's so fucking far, this map is so big I would like to pick up the Hell's Retriever as I go down So I want to get the Hell's Retriever done before I go down We are at 30 minutes in and I haven't even started the fucking uh, Blundergat quest yet I don't even know where the last Blundergat part is Like I have no idea I know it's up this side of the prison as far as i'm aware now we can go down and we can grab the hell's retriever which means we could also start a blunder gag quest this season uh this fucking right now actually yeah uh i don't see why we wouldn't actually let's let's do that 
we might be able to even get it this round Listen, I don't there's the first one i actually quite disliked man of the dead not even disliked i just i wasn't the biggest fan i then you know i was more of an origins buried transit kind of guy i'd play them maps but then i played mob and i ended up really liking it so there you go that's the moral of that story oh no way i just remembered i think the fucking skull is down there oh but we're gonna have to go all the way back down there. We also only have to get one more part for the plane. Guys, we are fucking flying with this shit. We're so back. And we have two downs. Uh, which still isn't great. I would much prefer less. But what are you gonna do? A plane? Yeah. We're gonna need this, alright? Here we go. And I think we only need two more skulls and one of them. I had to buy ammo actually, so you know what? It's fine that we have to go all the way back down. It's a bit annoying, but you guys don't actually have to see it. This thing's no, I did miss. I because it hasn't spawned in. Maybe this is part of the machine. <sighs> back down we go. Hey, something though. I'm enjoying just walking through Mob of the Dead again, like because it's been a couple of years since I've played Mob of the Dead. So it is, it is just nice to go back and experience it in its original form. The last version of Mob of the Dead I played was Blood. And I also played Mob of the Dead Bridge Survival on Black Ops 3 Customs, but I don't, I don't, I, I, I wouldn't count that. Oh, I got it. We're about to hold the fucking blunder get in the palm of our hands, boys. And we're gonna... We'll save up a couple of points, get set up, and then we're gonna head over. Here it is. Let's use it. Let's fucking use it. Hey, buddy. Alright, let's get set up. Let's grab the shield. That just didn't pick up again. Alright. I should keep those fucking crusties off my back. Don't we have to pick up the spoon here as well? I'm gonna say I got it. Oh, no, wait. I have to do something with a poster first. Right? I have to do something with a poster and then I can chuck something with the spoon. I don't know. I have no idea. Um, Let's just grab our perks and then we will head to the bridge with the acid gun and... Em 1927 and we will pack a punch and then we'll come back and just then i'll finally be able to you know focus a little bit in and talk about my love for the map why i think it's so much better than most of the black ops 1 maps if not all why i think it's better than you know most zombies maps in general mob of the dead i saw someone in the black ops 1 video that said mob of the dead is overrated what the fuck man that was like Insanity. When insanity takes hold, these are the opinions people will come up with. Now, of course, people are entitled to, as I've learned my opinion, it's absolutely not the common one. So, and I, you know, I, I like if people respect mine. So I, of course, will respect yours. But, and I'm sure this is how people feel about me not liking Black Ops 1, but I just couldn't imagine not liking Black Ops 2. Or Mob of the Dead, for example. Like, there's just so much to do look at this like we're 40 minutes in i suppose if you're not into that like oh fuck oh shit now here we have it the fucking acid gap boys what a cool gun all right and now we're gonna finish the plane and we're gonna head to the golden gate bridge we have four rounds left wow there's just so there's so much to do like how can people not like the quest based maps there's just so much content all right let's let's do the classic where we ask the house retriever behind us Unbelievable. that might have been too early no nope. it was perfectly fine we slam into the bridge
There it is, pack a punch. Like, just look over there. That's how close they were to escape. And then they're stuck here, though. Is that a fucking dead corpse? My oh, shit. Guys, I'm starting to think there's some stranger things going on. Fucking Vecna sound going off as well. I get fucked. Where are the fucking zombies? Okay. Still as many of them so we can get the fucking pack punch. What a phenomenal map, honestly. There's so much to do. Look, like you're able to go to the Golden Gate Bridge, you're able to go back to Alcatraz, you're able to fucking pack a punch, you're able to two different wonder weapons, four if you count the pack of punches and the upgrades. It's just wow, what a What a map, man. What a fucking map. Hell's Redeemer and Hell's Retriever. You got the Spork. Like, what is there not to love? I... It's just miles better than anything in Black Ops 1. I'm sorry, it just is. Look at that pack punch camo. I know you will, Brutus. We'll only have to kill you all over again. What did I miss? No, I'm actually, I might hit him. Ooh. Look at that. Let's get the Vitrolic Wither. Oh, shit. And let's just watch them all explode. Look at that. Just your fucking perfection. I had to go back to the cafeteria and train up there. I just look at this thing shred now. It goes from just a good points gun to like a fucking shredder. I'll well roll the box for one and see what we get. Imagine it's a blunder guy. I just love how cool the blunder guy, the, the Vitrolic Withering is. Well, I do have to say, phenomenal map. Uh, we have one last round now here where, All right. you know, we've stuff to do. Uh, just train up. We're going to see how many kills we can get. We downed twice, but, you know, most of them were stupid downs because I was trying to talk or not paying attention. You know, it, and it is Mob of the Dead. It's a tough enough map. Uh, I wouldn't say it's hard, though. I'd actually say I find Die Rise a bit harder just because of that fucking god awful layout. To be completely honest. If I remember correctly, this doesn't do lots of against him though. Well, he's dead, so. Doesn't really matter. Don't bother coming back. I think this might be the end of the round here, guys. Oh, it's not. I can see others spawning in still. Wow, it feels really nice to be set up on this map. You see, the only thing with these Blundell maps is within the 15 rounds, you know, you're only getting set up towards the end. But I suppose that is the experience, you know. It's an early, it's a long setup, and then you go for your long, your high rounds. We'll hit the box one more time. Uh, I know I didn't really talk all that much about my opinions on Mob of the Dead, but that's because I, like, Mob of the Dead is one of my favorite maps. I think Mob of the Dead is phenomenal, you know. Uh, I think it's great. And I think you should go back and give it a, a play. And I think most of you, if you're a Zombies fan, you will enjoy it if you haven't played it in a while. And I'm sure you all already enjoy it. Uh, phenomenal map. And next up, we have my favorite map of all time still for all these years. Uh, it's, it's Buried. So I will see you guys all on Buried. And here we are on my favorite Call of Duty Zombies map of all time, uh, Buried. Buried is and has been for the longest time my favorite Zombies map, and I think a fucking heavily, heavily underrated map. I think Buried is a fucking masterpiece. I understand it might not be objectively the best map of all time, but there's so much to do on Buried. And everything is just built with fun in mind. It's not tedious. 
it's it's just fun it's it's it's, it's a phenomenal map honestly and i am excited to play and talk about it uh because i think as i said it's underrated we are going to try get a pack punch gun on round one as well without using the bank because while the bank is not cheating as i decided earlier uh i don't think you need it on this map there's more than enough ways to you know get everything done nice and early uh, I'm a bit of a, not an expert per se, but I'm, I'm quite good. It would be really nice if we can get a lucky spawn here. Uh, it doesn't really make a difference, but here's the boy. Uh, another great mechanic. There's a professional strat here to get as much points as we can early on the game. And we'll be able to buy another bottle. Get another bottle. Like, look at this. You're able to get so many points. You're able to get so much done just on round one. Like, look at that. Now we can start drawing the chalk drawings, which means, you know, we have access to the AN94 straight away. The SVU straight away. The Galvan Knuckles also straight away. Like, what is there not to like? Why would people dislike this map? It's so fucking good. And now we'll buy more booze and we'll open up more of the map. I don't know if we'll... I don't think we'll get the pack punch on round one. I think I might have made a mistake somewhere. I'm not entirely sure where. There we go. That should be him aimed correctly. But he should avoid the corner and he should get it. Yeah. That's him. Another 1,500 points. Now, the only thing is we do need to turn on power. I suppose, I think you can do for free, but a bit of a le pain. I think if we bring him to here, that should probably now, this one might miss. I'm not 100% confident in this. Oh, look at that. We got that. Technically, I could pack punch the Mustang and Sally's, but we won't. Because I don't like them. Pack a punch. Because I find more than often than not, they'll just kill you. At this stage, we're already kind of set up, so we're not going to get pack a punch by round one, but I also want to get all the perks if possible. So. I think that requires us to get four before we even go into the witch's house for the first time. Um, then we'll head down and we'll also get full trade, I think. Because I like it. And it's expensive. Now, to be fair, it's taking me ten minutes and we're still on round one, but... Does this just not showcase how good of a fucking map this is? Right, that should land. I don't know if that'll even get us a thousand points, but... Hope so. I don't think so, though. No. But it will get us enough to buy Vulture Aid, which is just a really good perk. Uh, depth Perception from Arm War. Fair Zombies and Cold War Zombies. So now we're going to take just a couple of rounds to get set up. Uh, we'll hit the box a couple of times. No, I probably could have wrote on the wall in there. I definitely can write on the wall in the church. So that's another 1,000 points right there for free. Yeah, did we ever get a lore explanation as to what the chalk was doing here? What I need to know. Why the magic chalk? What was that, buried? Like, look at this. You can kind of dictate where stuff goes. Not Like, oh, it's just it's such a good map, guys. Like, I'm not even sure if there's going to be... I, I think people are coming around the buried, but, like, I know it's still not the most popular map. And... I just, I think it's, I think it's a perfect map. I think it's really good. I think you can take it both casually and you can kind of come at it. Like I know that the high rounds aren't great, or at least they weren't for years. I'm not sure. I don't really keep up to date with high rounds. I don't really care about high rounds. I'm more of an Easter egg guy, but it's just, it's, you know, what a map. You can come at it casually, you can come at it, you know, hardcore, like you can learn how to 
min max the map or you could just come at it like in a hardcore kind of in a casual way where you just play and hit the box and stuff like that and nothing changes but the fact that you have the options is what's nice oh my boys we just got the fucking ray gun oh my god he just said microtransaction what the hell that's a bit too on the nose there activision i can't believe we got the fucking ray gun so yeah next on the revisiting series we'll have weirdly enough black ops 3 because i'll actually be revisiting that like and seeing if it holds up i do believe it does but still it'll be fun uh i've uh, actually it's not even much of a revisiting because i've actually i still actively play the game quite consistently but just to make the series complete i felt like you know it would only make sense to do black ops 3 as well uh because we've done four oh please give me a gun we've done four we'll be doing cold war as well so we might as well do uh three even though it, i wouldn't say it's technically a revisiting because i i still play it take the empire i guess but Oh, I got the teddy bear, so hopefully we'll get something good here. Okay, we'll hit one more time before we start opening up them, uh, before we make our moves. Oh my god, what the fuck? Why am I getting such fucking piss per weapons, man? You see, but unlike Black Ops 2, everything I denied there could have actually, like, worked. It's just not. I'm, I have a very specific bunch of weapons that I'm looking for. I want the paralyzer. I remember... People were like, the hammer, it got nerfed. Yeah, but it's still a good gun. Like, I, I like the hammer. As you can tell by the fact that I haven't packed a punch in the fridge right now. Well, this map actually has stamina. That's so, so true. Like, I know no one said that to me, but like, it is true. I get it. These are like statistically pretty good guns, but that's not what I'm looking for. Oh, there we are. Boys, we're back. What a fun wonder weapon. Guys, you can fly with this fucking weapon. What is there not to like? I don't... <sighs> this map is just full of fucking great content. Look at this. We've got... We are set up. Just stay far enough away from the zombies and the ray gun will fucking destroy. If you get into a fucking pinch if i get into a pinch i can just fly away meow see how fucking cool that is and now i suppose we don't really need double tab i could get speed cola what a fucking map guys come on like you don't even need to open the map to get everything it's so fucking cool all you need is a bit of fucking ingenuity and this map has it you can figure out a way to do something this map is the ultimate outbreak experience it's a big sandbox with a load of stuff to play with you know what we didn't even check what leroy built us you shall win some and you shall lose some Get out of there what a fucking creepy ass area but also you get really good rewards for going through it people complain this map's too easy it's oh wow it's fun it doesn't need to be the most difficult experience in the world for it to be fun like i suppose if that's what you're looking for that's fair enough but i just i think the master oh well I mean, I can only get praise for it. I can only praise it so much before it gives me mule kick as my fucking free perk. Just skip that. Ah, <sighs> what a map, man. 
Fucking Buried is just one of the maps that makes you feel powerful without really having to try to make you feel powerful. You just feel powerful. Also, it has a fucking bop of a fucking song as well. Always Running is a really good song. Not the usual, like, rock, but, like... Honestly, I actually don't know if I have a single bad thing to say about Buried. Like, I'm because I'm trying to think just so I can, like, you know, be fair. But I can't fucking think of, of anything I don't like about Buried. I think... I like the whole thing. I think it's a phenomenal map. There's so much to do. There's so many ways to attack a map. Uh, I just, it's green now, which is really nice. You know what, we might stay for, get the pack punch ray gun. Just stay, and then we can get the perk on the way back. A free perk. If I die, um, we'll forget about it. Also, you literally just can't die. Look, I know I'm probably going to get comments for how I'm playing right now. It's very campy. Not a very popular place, though, but, you know, when in Rome, you know, this is the buried way. Like, look how broken this is. Easy round 70. It's actually free when they thought the map there. And here we are. Here is the ray gun pack of punch. And it's round 13. Look at two pack of punch guns. And I'm having a fucking great time. Now we can head back. It's also a map that's super easy because the head starts super easy to get the wonder weapon, I think. The lights are back on, which means we can get the uh the free perk. Ah here she is. I was like, what the hell? And let's see what we get. Please be stamina up. Oh yes! Look at how set up we are, guys. Oh, whoops. Don't do that. And you know what? Let's, let's grab the trample steam. Set it up. And just, you know. This is the old time strat that I used when I was a kid. So, you know. Well, not even a kid when I was a teenager. No, I was still young, like 13, 12. This is the strat I used to basically just, like back then I thought round 30 was high, so this, you know, was the easiest shit to get the round 30 on. Let's just see what's in the box. We got one more round to go. I haven't really been talking this game because you see, it's easier to talk about what you don't like about a map than, you know, like, because when I sum up what I like about the map, that's it. The maps, I like it. It's good. It's fun. I think it's probably one that, like, this will be much better in the scripted section in the, uh, the actual review. But because this is just me playing the map, you know, I, I'm just doing what I like about the map, which is running around killing zombies. And this is one of them maps where I actually enjoy the running around and killing zombies like the setup sure it takes a little bit but it's not like not like the mob of the dead setup which took me like an hour now that's because i just done it really arse ways but you know not the same here and then we're moving on to origins next which is another fucking great map see this is what i'm talking about with black ops 2 having to be in the best of you know the classic zombies you've got the three best maps arguably of all time back to back to back like how can you say no to that like I, I i i don't i don't get how you can say no to such a good lineup that you go from mob of the dead to buried to origins of course it's of course i think it's the best why wouldn't i i think they're three of the best maps and they're back to back to back this is the best of the classic zombies and i think these maps just kind of you know Add to the cake, that is Black Ops 2. Alright, uh, so yeah, we're gonna move on. Uh, that was Buried. Buried Masterpiece. Go give it a try. Really fun, really enjoyable map. Uh, I highly recommend it. Next up is, of course, Origins, and I will see you guys there. And here we are, onto the final map of this Zombies game. None other than Origins, and our goal 
for this map is very simple. I'm going to build and upgrade one of the staffs, and the staff of my choosing is going to be none other than the fire staff. So that is our plan for now: is to build the build and upgrade the fire staff. So we'll also get a couple of the other things like the shield, but it's not like it's a priority. Unlike, you know, on Mob of the Dead, where that was one of the goals on this map, not so much. They're snowing. I'll take 200 points. Uh, there could be a shield part in here, but there isn't. Or it's a shield part for Gentry. I'm not actually entirely sure. Uh, we'll also take the double points. Not as many points as I wanted, but ah, we just missed a foot. Origins is another one of them maps where there's so much to do. You could literally do so many different things. Like, it's just, it's such a content filled fucking map. Like, I can't even explain it. It's, it's, Origins is probably objectively better than Buried. And I know that. And I think it's, I think it's really good. Don't get me wrong. I just. I just personally prefer Buried, but I, I, I am well aware Origins is the closest thing to perfection in terms of Zombies maps that we have. Fire the hole. Oh, shoot grenades. Oh, crap. Sound like fucking Nick Ater either. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I thought crap was a, gated, a gateway swear word. Come on, Nick. Nick A. It is. I think this will come in handy. And then we will head across to. We should be able to open up to Gentry this round as well. Got that second shield part, because with that goddamn your man the Panzer active, we want to be ready. Also, I want to see if I can pick up the ice stuff. Like, I will craft more staff parts if I get them, like more staffs, but the main aim is the fire staff for us. As it's my favorite. I think it's the most fun to use. I'm hoping to get, like, a weapon. Now, there should be another shield part around Gen 3. I know it can spawn there. I think it can spawn down in the tunnel as well. But I'm hoping it's not down there because I don't want to go down there. Yeah, there it is. Thank God. Oh, get back. Oh, no. Yeah, I messed up. I fucking missed my knife. I whiffed my fucking knife. I'm so bad with the knife in this game. I keep missing my knife. Oh, it's, it's fine, though. It's no big deal. I just wanted that. I just want to be slightly geared up for when. Oh, that could have been really bad. He was windmilling as well. I want to be slightly geared up when the Panzer shows up. Oh, I want Jug. I wouldn't say no. Oh, no, wait, we can't get double help uh, on this map. From, a whole lot better unless it's from the Wonder Fizz. Oh, the Wonder Fizz, yeah. I could have made an interesting little, you know, goal where we get everything from the Wonder Fizz, but that. Uh, I didn't even, I completely forgot the Wonder Fizz is just, it's kind of forgettable to me. I don't really use it all that often. So typically, I'm looking for the core perks, which is like stamina up and quick revive and beat and jug and double top, which are typically on the maps themselves. All right, and now we should be able to open up onto the middle. Here we go, that's a fucking shield, boys. Oh, I don't like where it is on the, um... On the fucking hood, but that's whatever. Minor complaint, I guess. As long as we're safe. But, like, thematically, this map is so fucking good as well as, like, content wise. Like, this entire map has such a nice, like, fucking environment. Which is, it's always nice when the environment and the gameplay and the story all match. Are not me down. Oh, they are not. You're right. We are gonna get Jug right now. And then we should be able to just fucking clean house here. 
You tell me that didn't fucking fill up. I kind of just want to gather up some points, which is why I'm doing this. Because we can't even finish our staff until round 8, so... And then the upgrade will probably just take a round or two. Oh, that guy didn't count. I don't like the mud. That's the only thing I don't like about it. If it was muddy when it was rainy, that'd be fine, but it's muddy all the fucking time. Oh, actually, I need to get the main area open as well, but... That's fine. I can wait. My father was so close. There it is. That's our first part for the staff. Shut down. Plane. We're gonna try to finish off this soul box. You know what? We might as well go for the fucking punch while we're here now. Because I've done the majority of it. Yeah, there we go. Another one done. Oh, we've got the Panzer to look forward to next round. So, you know. Yeah, there we go. In Origins, activate all generators without allowing one to stop. Yeah, we didn't get disrupted once. There we go. Look at that. This just explodes. Look at that. That's kind of funny. And the fire staff one is down by entry. We'll get that next round, though. Because we have the big boy to deal with this round. Yeah, here he is. Oh my god, that sound is terrifying in this game. There he is. There's the big boy himself. Holy shit, there's the fucking big boy. A Black Ops 2 Panzer. I remember this guy being a fucking bitch. I'm not sure if he's still gonna be tough for me, but I, th I think he might be. He has his claw, he has his flamethrower. There we go. We fucking did it. Okay, it wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. Alright, let's start the upgrade. I need to get to the staff part, but that's the only thing. And then we head down to the gentry. I found a piece of a staff. Wait, what part am I missing? Oh, yeah, the plane. Yeah, okay, that's whatever, because I need to come back up here anyway. And then we will get the one-inch punch, because we'll have the upgrade stuff, and it'll be super fucking easy. Holy shit, we're gonna get so much done this game. Man, look at this, though. Like, I didn't even notice that 20 minutes had gone past and we're only on round 8, because I'm having so much fucking fun. That's, that's the point. You know, zombies is meant to be fun, and this is just so much more fun than anything. Unlike Black Ops 1. Like, I'm sorry, it just... Just a fact to me, anyway. Right, there we are. Uh, we've got stamina up. That should be so much nice. And I love how much faster and longer we can sprint. Uh, it should remove the sprint duration, I think, but it's whatever. You know, that's one of the only things about the old zombies is you have to get used to, like, walking, traveling super slow compared to kind of later zombies games, so... It is something else, but... Let's go down and build this fucking staff, boys. I'm so excited. I haven't gotten the original Black Ops 2 Origin staffs in years. And now I'm about to get the best one, in my opinion. There we fucking have it. Look at that, boys. The fire staff. Alright, and now all we have to do is get kills on this little grate. See? Oh. Oh, this is throwing me back. The first time I'd done the Easter egg, I was also the fire staff. And that kind of just, from then, became the staff that I always picked up whenever I played Origins. Be it public, with friends. Everyone would always ask me, why do you want to pick the fire staff? The fire, the, the, the wind, the, the lightning staff, and the, no, sorry, the, the ice staff's clearly the best. And I was like, I don't care, I just like the fire staff as simple as that's that's the reason i think it's fun i think the fire staff's powerful i think it's fun 
Do I care that it's not the most meta fucking best weapon in the game? No, not really. Also, the I haven't really spoken about it, but the graphics of this, the graphics of this game compared to, you know. Oh, you're not serious. And five. Fuck. Oh, all right, we've done it. Or two. No, I think it is three. Good work holding those sons of bitches back. Let's go redo the gen. We pack punch the MP5. 40. Yeah, we might as well because we're gonna need something to kill the zombies while we um, you know, do the thing. While we upgrade the stuff. Off of fire, so let's go see what the code is. Okay, so we have 11, we have 9, and we have 3, and we have 4. 11, 9, 3, 4. 11, 9, 3, There we go. And then we just go down and we shoot this orb. And then we'll travel back to the crazy place where we can now upgrade our staff. Oh guys, I'm actually, I'm fucking loving this. This is so much fun. See, this is the point of the fucking revisiting series. I can go back and I can play these games and I can decide, you know, if I was right or wrong in my assessment of them, and you know what, I thought Origins was fun when I first played it. And I have to say it, I still think it's fun. <laughs> I, I don't know what to tell you, there's so much to do. Wrecked record. God, oh, that's else? annoying. No, oh, that was right after I said I was having such a tremendous time, but you know what, whatever, we only have to go back once. This is it, this is the last time we have to go into the crazy place, so... I could have built the Maxis drone, but it's not really much use to us now for what we're doing here. If we were doing the Easter egg, which we will eventually, don't worry. If we were, uh, that's when we'd be building the Maxis drone. Of course, you know, I'm assuming most of the people that watch these are Zombies fans, so they probably already know that, so I am just talking shit right now. There we go, look at this. Let's use a charge shot for the laugh. Wow. Wow, they fucking exploded. Alright, we've got two rounds to finish up the two soul boxes and get the fists, so that's what we're gonna do. Alright, we're on to our final round. We should get the one inch punch from this. No. No way, okay, we're good. I thought that was R1. I was like, no, there's no way. We had this perfectly timed so that I could show off two great pieces of content that the map has. I know soul boxes are a bit overused now, but I can't really blame that on Origins, you know? Which is something I've learned from the Black Ops 1 video where I was blaming Kino and stuff that happened before, uh, after Kino. And people didn't like that, so I've learned I'm now not using. Was that a nuke? Who's dropping bombs? I'm not sure if that. I don't know if that's. That might be bad for us. I really want to get the punch. We got an upgraded staff and we got the one inch punch. Finish it off with this. Let's use it. Kill this guy. Wow. Okay. Um, I will head back to the main menu to give my outro on my thoughts. So that was Black Ops 2 Zombies. And I have to say, I think I was right. I do think Black Ops 2 Zombies is the best of the classic Treyarch Zombies. So from World at War 2, Black Ops 2. 
I think it's the most innovative. I think the maps are the most fun. I think you get the most bang for your buck with the the paid versus non versus the base game maps. I think it, it, it's more interesting than you know the Black Ops One. Uh, Black Ops World at War gets a pass for being the first game. Black Ops One basically stagnated the games and i think black ops 2 puts back down the right path even if you don't like transit there's still three world-class game uh zombies maps immediately after die rise uh for some of the best new town zombies is also a good little bonus map nothing wrong with it the town survival i know i didn't show them in this video but they are also good little bonus maps and honestly i just think if you're looking for a classic non-quest orientated zombies game black ops 2 is probably the best you can get for that i know there's some quest maps in there as well so if you want a mix of both i still think black ops 2 is the best for that because you go further there's no real mixture it's mostly quests and if you go back it's it's mostly survival uh with no, no side quests or quests on the map it's just you find the one weapon and you survive but i think black ops 2 is honest to god that perfect middle ground and i think if you're a big fan and you haven't actually gone back and played these maps in their original forms i know the majority of them are not remastered but for the two that are if you if you haven't played them in their original form you should go back and play them in their original form uh yeah so that's pretty much the video uh if you enjoyed you know leave a comment if you disagreed leave a comment let me know why uh if you didn't like it leave a dislike if you did like it leave a like and subscribe with the bell to find out when i'm uploading next and also feel free to follow me on twitter except for that one big youtuber that blocked me but you know i didn't even do anything that's kind of the funniest part uh yeah uh leave uh feel free to drop me a follow it's at zach the baptist and i will see you all in the next video